ओके एवरीबॉडी कैन सी यस प्रभु जी chapter 18 text one so the goes hame say due to the mercy of the personality of god we can come due to the mercy of the personality god as shri krishna acts wonderfully maharaj parikshit those struck by a weapon weapon a uh, weapon of the son of drona in his mother's so could not be burned we know that actually brahmastra is invincible for krishna i think is invincible it's like wonderfully this is on Okay. Is it on? Okay, no. I can hear. Yes. Okay. Okay, now it has come to us. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mavi. Jala. Now, our Maharaj Parishud always considered the personality of God. Eh? Therefore, neither afraid nor over my fear due to the snake bird which was to bite him because of the fury of a Brahmana boy. So this is Parikshit Maharaj, very advanced personality. If you tell somebody a snake is coming to come and bite you, and I curse somebody, he will be scared. Okay. okay. Furthermore, after leaving all the seers, the king surrendered himself as a disciple to the son of Vyasa, Shukdev Goswami. And thus he was able to understand the actual position of the personality God, and at last gave up his metal body on the banks of the Ganges. This was so because those who had dedicated their life to the transcendent topics of the personality God, of whom the Vedic hymns sing, and who are constantly engaged in remembering the lotus feet of God, do not run the risk of having misconception even at the time, last moment of their life. Right. Uh, okay. So now the development is going on. of this beautiful past time as long as the powerful son of abhimanyu remained the emperor of the world there was no chance the personality of kali will flourish the very day and the moment personality of god and lord shri krishna left the earth the personality of kali promotes all kind of religious activities came into the world maharaj pariksha was a realist like the bees who only accept the essence of the flower he knew perfectly well that in the age of kali auspicious thing produce good effects immediately the inauspicious acts must be actually performed to render effects so we never envious the personality kali so he is seeing that in the kali yoga also there are benefit in previous ages if you think bad also you are punished you get punishment for that but in kali yoga that's not that. unless you do it you are not punished so therefore is it auspicious thing produce effect immediately even if think or let me serve krishna let me chant the hari krishna mantra let him become a devotee you get blessed for innocuous things you have to do to get the sinful life back so therefore it is it has this age also has some benefit maharaj parishit considered that the less intelligent men might find the personality of kali to be very powerful but those who are self controlled would have nothing to fear 
The king was powerful like the tiger and took care of the foolish, careless persons. So those who are, you know, some many people say, why you are so angry? Why you are you know, having bad habits? What can I do? It's Kali Yuga. No, no, no. Kali Yuga, but where is your umbrella? Suppose it is raining outside. Where is your umbrella? No, no, I got wet. Why you got wet? Because it's raining. Why didn't you use umbrella? So similarly, chanting the names of the Lord is like an umbrella. It will not affect people who have taken Shagatara. Oh, sages, as you did ask me, now I should describe almost everything regarding the narration of Lord Krishna in connection with the history of Pius Maharaj Pariksha. Those who desire of achieving complete perfection in life must submissive here all topics that are connected to the transcendental activities and qualities of the personality God who acts wonderfully. The good sages said, Oh, grave Sutta Goswami, may you live many years and have eternal faith. For you are speaking very nicely about the activity of the Lord Krishna, the personality of God. This is just like nectar for the mortal beings like us. We have just begun the performance of the fruitive activity of sacrificial fire without certainty of his result due to many imperfections in our action. Our body has become black from the smoke, but we are factually pleased with the nectar of the lotus feet of the personality of God at Govinda, which we are distributing. The world value of a moment association devoted to the Lord cannot even be compared to attainment of heavenly planets or liberation from matter. What to speak of worldly benediction in the form of material prosperity, which are for those who are meant for death. The personality God and Lord Krishna Govinda is the exclusive center for all the living beings and his transcendent attributes cannot be measured by such masters of mystic power as Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma. Can anyone who is expert in relishing nectar rasa ever be fully satiated by hearing topics about it? Oh, Sutu Goswami, you are learned and pure devoted to the Lord because the personality Godhead is your chief objective of service. Therefore, please describe to us the pastimes of the Lord which are above all mental conception for we are anxious to receive such messages. Oh, Sutu Goswami, please describe those topics of the Lord by which Maharaj Parikshan, whose intelligence is fixed on liberation, attain the lotus feet of the Lord, who is the shelter of Garuda, the king of earth. These top, those topics are vibrated by son of Vyasa, Shukadev Goswami. So they're very eager to hear. Uh, they know this narration is not going to be ordinary. They know Parikshan Maharaj is a great personality. In great personality, their death is also extraordinary. Because they die in total. Samadhi of the Lord, we have the life. Aridha Stakur, we had Bhishma Deva, and we have Parish Maharaj, totally absorbed in the Lord's of the Lord. She Sutta Goswami said, Oh God, although we are born in a mixed caste, we are still promoted in the birthright simply by serving and following Sutta Goswami said, the great who are advanced in knowledge. Even by converse such great souls, one cannot, one can without delay cleanse into all disqualification resulting from lower birth. Suta is actually the very meaning shows not a proper birth. Uh, if suppose a Brahmana marries, a sh Brahmana boy marries Kshatriya girl, it's fine. As a Brahmana girl marries Bra uh, Kshatriya boy, that is not considered proper. Because, you know, men have a tendency to dominate and the wife is ahead of him. That's what I can understand. It will not work out such marriage. So this comes from a Suta. I said, oh, my, my you know, father, mother, not proper mixed caste, not should not have been the way it is. But by serving great souls, I've overcome that deficiency. What to speak of those who are in the direction of the great devotees, chanting the holy name of the unlimited, who have unlimited potency. The personality God had unlimited potency and transcendental attribute is called Ananta. It is now ascertained that he, the personality God, is unlimited. There is none equal to him. Consequently, no one can speak of him adequately. Great demigods cannot obtain the favor of goddess of fortune even by prayers. But this very God of goddess of fortune renders service unto the Lord, although he is unwilling to have such service. She is after him. I want to serve you. I want to serve you. Okay. Lakshmi Sahasra Shatasam Ravasevya Manam Govindamadi Purusham Ramaham Bajami. It said all the Lakshmis are eager to serve Krishna with great respect. Who can be worthy of the name of the Supreme Lord but the personality God of Shri Krishna? Brahmaji collected the water emanating from the nails of his feet in order to award it to Lord Shiva as a worshipable welcome. This is the very 
water, Ganges is purifying the whole universe, including Lord Shiva. When Vaman Deva was, you know, leg was going up, Brahma saw a beautiful, huge fit coming, a so beautiful. Krishna's body is extremely good. Such a beautiful fit coming up. He understood it's my Lord's fit. So from the Kamandul, he started washing the Lord's fit to the Lord. Therefore, it's it. Self-controlled persons who are attached to the Supreme Lord Shri Krishna can all of a sudden give up the word of mental attachment, including the gross body and subtle mind, and go away to attain the highest perfection around sort of life by which non-violence and renunciation are consequential. Self-controlled persons are attached to the Supreme Lord Shri Krishna. So they can, if you are attached to Krishna, you can give up all mental attachment, including gross body and subtle mind, which is not easy and attain the lotus foot of the Lord. O oh, Rishis, who are as powerfully pure as the sun, I shall try to describe to you the transcendental pastimes of Vishnu as far as my knowledge is concerned. As the birds fly in the sky, as far as the capacity allows, so do the learned devotee describe the Lord as far as the realization of the Lord. So beautiful. See, some birds are there, like we, who are like parrots. We can jump from one branch to another. And then there are great acharyas which can fly deep in the sky. You understand? We can speak, but different realization is a different issue. Once upon a time, Maharaj perished by engaging in hunting in the forest. Now the story has started how he ended up being cursed. Once upon a time, Maharaj Parishu engaged in hunting in the forest, bow and arrows, became extremely fatigued, hungry and thirsty. Actually, this is unusual. He could bear Brahmasra in his childhood. Why he should be disturbed by a little thirst? He is a very powerful personality. Just like Arjuna got bewildered before the battlefield, Maharaj Parishit got bewildered at this moment. Arjuna got bewildered so that the Gita can be spoken. And Parikshit Maharaj is bewildered so that Bhagavata can be spoken. So how much time after Mahabharata? This is roughly around 36. He got cursed. Oh, no, there's much more. 36 years after the Mahabharata, Parishit Maharaj came to rule. And then there's a calculation how much he lived after that. While searching for a reservoir of water, he entered the hermitage of well-known Samika Rishi and the sage sitting silently with closed eyes. The Muni's sense organs, breath, mind, intelligence are all destined to mental activities. And you are situated in trance apart from the three, wakefulness, dream, and consciousness. Having achieved the transcendent position, quality to equal with the absolute truth. So we know this stage, we call it Turiya. One is deep sleep, where the soul is not connected to the body. It is also not connected to the mind. Deep sleep. Next stage is when the soul is connected to the mind. At this time is dreaming person start dreaming. The next stage when the soul is connected to the mind also and the body also, external world, that's called Jagriti. Uh, but there is beyond this, this is called Susupti, deep sleep, Swapna, Susupti and Jagriti, Turiya, transcendent situation. And this sage was not, we see both person of Susupti and Turiya look same. They can easily cheat people. He is sleeping, but people think he is in trance, yes. <laughs> so that having achieved a transcendental position qualitatively equal with the Supreme Lord. The sage in meditation was covered by the skin of a stag and long compressed hair was scattered all over him. The king whose palate was dry from thirst asked him for water. The king not received by any formal welcome by means of being offered a seat, place, water, the sweet address, considered himself neglected and so thinking he became angry. You know, that's the mood of the king. The king wants attention. A Kshatriya always wants attention and respect. A leader wants that. And it demands also the king. But it's all a little unusual for Parikshit Maharaj. He has forgotten where is he. In his palace, it's fine. In his house, it's fine. But in a hermitage of a great sage, this is unusual. He should not even enter the hermitage out of respect. If he has entered, that's what do any respectful person. Yeah, he should. He should not behave like this. So this is unusual now. What is he doing? Uh, Hare Krishna, everybody.
So this is generally it should not happen. Now, but Parikshit Maharaj, this should not have happened because you know, and he has gone to the forest. Other question maybe why he went for hunting in the forest? No, that was also allowed for a Kshatriya. Why it was allowed for a Kshatriya? Because Kshatriya has to see blood. If Kshatriya does not see blood, then what is going to happen? When he sees blood in the battlefield, he will be shocked. He will not be able to handle it. The so Kshatriya is allowed. See, this microphone is not set. My voice is okay till now. This could be also perfect. perfect. Now, now it's much better. I changed to audio device. Okay. Now you can hear more clearly. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. yes. 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 So, Shatriya has to do that. Just like in medicine, they have to do anatomy class, which they cut open a body. Imagine a doctor has never only studied books, and first time he goes to do some operation, he is going to get a shock. He's cut open the skin, blood comes, he will faint there. So, he's trained. He's trained. The same way the Shatriya is trained to see blood because non violence is not for Shatriya. Shatriya have to punish sometimes, even with violence, rogues, thieves, murderers. They have to do that. That's needed. Such people are always there. Kshatriya's whole business is to keep the society protected from such people. Otherwise, there is no need for Kshatriyas. Why do you need police if they're no criminals? Kshatriyas also are doing their duty. The king not receive any formal welcome by means of being offered a seat, place, water, a sweet address, consider himself neglected, so thinking he became angry. This is again unusual, unusual for such a great personality that Parishim Maharaj to lose control of himself. And actually, this is the Vedic time. At least the, the hermitage, the sage is there. Uh, he cannot, you know, give some nice beddings and cushions and some chapan bhog to the king, which he's having all the time. But at least a place to sit, one straw mat to sit down, little water, some address. That was expected minimum. But Samika Rishi was at this time by Lord's arrangement in deep meditation. He did not notice it. O oh, Brahmana, the circumstances having distressed him with extreme hunger and thirst, the king directed towards the sages, anger and envy, which he had never been directed towards the Brahmana. He had never done this, never done this. He lost control on himself. Ah, never done this. I have Krishna's arrangement actually. A moment of neglect, Krishna is arranging. But also, we have to be careful. Lessons are there in everything. Not that now we say, okay, I can sometimes have anger. See what all happened. He got death penalty before that. While leaving the king, was insulted, picked up a lifeless snake with a bow and angrily placed on the shoulder of the sage. And thus he returned to his palace. He garlanded him with a dead snake. Oh, you give me respect like this? Look how I respect you. Get up from your so-called meditation. Watch how I, I respected you. On returning, he began to contemplate and argue within himself that whether the sage had actually been in meditation, with senses concentrated and eye closed, whether he had been feigning trance just to avoid receiving a lower Kshatriya. Just thinking what was actually. He started now. A great personality is the one of the qualities of a great personality. He is always keeps introspecting. Always. Just like Arjuna. We know Arjuna before the war, he was introspecting. Whether it is fine for him to fight or not fine. That's a personality. Any great person thinks 100 times whether it is right or wrong word. Okay. So Parishi Maharaj with grandson of Arjuna also started now going back into the incidents that has happened, which is unusual. The sage had a son who was very powerful, being a Brahmana's son. While he was playing with inexperienced boys, he heard of his father's distress, which was occasioned by the king. And then and there, the boys spoke as follows. So. The sage had a son because the samskaras are very strong. Purity was taught in the house, but already Kali influence has started. Now, this is a boy, small boy. A Brahmana is supposed to guide the society and show Samadama, Tapasaucham, Shantima Eva, Shantima Arjama Eva Chan. 
ज्ञान विज्ञान आस्ते क्यम भर्म कर्म स्वभाव कर्म सो ब्राह्मण मीन शुड बी टॉलरेंट वन ऑफ द क्वालिटी समाधवा तपा शांति यू शुड हैव पीस एंड टॉलरेंस बट ही वॉज नॉट सो ही वॉज सो दे फॉर इट्स एस द कली कली द वेदिक कल्चर को लास्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द ब्राह्मण यस एंड द फर्स्ट ब्राह्मण इज हु डिड दैट वॉज शिंगी so anyway it had to collapse it's not that kaliyuga is not going to start but it shows how the four orders if the brahmanas would have kept their purity they would have been able to train kshatriyas vaishyas also properly but they lost control of themselves the whole thing collapsed and today we have seen not everybody but generally it has become a joke if somebody says i am a brahmana is you know doing all bad things which is unmentionable simply call name sake brahmana he want respect to a brahmana he want so many privileges of brahmana everything he want but quality is less than a shudra so this boy was also like that he showed the lack of qualities oh just look at the sins of the rulers who like crows and watch like the dog propete sins again their masters contrary to the principles governing servants so we we'll look at the kshatriyas that is not the attitude of the vedic culture kshatriyas brahmanas vaishya shudra are cooperating for service to the lord this is not the focus who is superior who is junior that is not the focus focus is cooperation focus is always cooperation just like we want to have say festival say janmashtami coming in august 12 we are all meditating but focus is cooperation focus is not who does what okay somebody can do archana on my behalf somebody can do abhishek on that's fine that's fine but the focus is cooperation because so many things have to be done for that perpetrate sins again the masters contrary to the principles governing servant the descendants of the kingly orders are definitely designated as watch dogs and they must keep themselves at the door on what grounds can the dogs enter the house and claim to dine with the master on the same plate look at it how is he speaking so insultingly towards the king this is a pride this is pride you know Uh, they are like dogs. They should stand at the door. They should not enter the house. A uh, watchdog. He calling Shatriya as the security guard for the Brahmanas. This is a pride. This is total pride. The descendants of the kingly are definitely designated as watchdogs, and they must keep themselves at the door. What ground they can come inside and dine with the master? He treating the kutte, kutte. Shatriya, हमारे लिए कुत्ते होते हैं. एक घर में घुस के खाना कैसे कहेंगे हमारे साथ? Like that. Just imagine the pride. totally this uh, this actually is not shringi only you know this kind of attitude has come down in kaliyuga hai na it has come therefore a lot of exploitation happened and therefore people try to save the vedic society from caste system and many people around the world say caste system is some kind of a uh, uh what to say a defect in the vedic society so vedic society doesn't have caste system it has varnashrama system which is very scientific and organized this is nonsense after departure of lord krishna the person we got supreme lord everyone these have started a flourish are krishna is not there i am there i will protect dharma see look at them he is protecting dharma or destroying dharma parishi maharaj just stayed on earth kali purusha would not been able to even breathe he was so powerful he is not rather he is giving such a bad example after departure lord shri krishna personal god as supreme lord everyone these have started a flourish huh? they are roaming around the things so great about them sala huh? our protector being gone therefore i myself should take out the matter and punish them just witness my power just see my power i'll show my power uh, i'll I, i will protect dharma now uh, i am now krishna is gone now he has told me to protect dharma as if the son of the rishi's eyes red hot with anger touched the water of river kaushika by speaking to his playmate and discharged the following thunderbolt of words the brahmana served son Cause the king does on the seven day, seven days me ho jayega ye. Or from today, a snake bird will bite the most wretched of the dynasty of Maharaj, of the dynasty that is Maharaj Parish, because of having broken the law of the etiquette by insulting my father. Thereafter, when the boy returned to the hermitage, he saw a snake on the father's shoulder. Out of grief, he cried very loudly. Ah, he was, you know. Simply worked his mind without any logic and reason, and he shouted. The Brahmana Rishi was born in the family Angira Muni. Heard his son crying, gradually opened his eyes and saw the dead snake around his neck. He threw the dead snake aside. He didn't take it seriously at all. Asked his son, "Why you? What's your problem? 
whether anyone has done harm. On hearing the son explain to him what had happened. Father heard from his son the king has been cursed, although he should never have been condemned, for he was the great best among all the human beings. The rishi did not congratulate his son. On the contrary, he began repenting, saying, Alas, what a great sinful acts are performed by my son. He has awarded heavy punishment for an insignificant offense. This is what you should have been taking. Brahmana means he should be tolerant. Small thing. You know, Brahmana is not a Kshatriya, okay. If he offended like this, he will behave like this. But a Brahmana has to show his good qualities in this way. Such a big punishment for a small offense. My boy, your intelligence is immature. Bevkof. Therefore, you have no knowledge that the king who is the best among human beings is as good as the personality of God. This king is as Naradeva. He is God on earth. What have you done? Nonsense. He is never to be placed on equal footing with common man. Don't treat him like a common man. He is such a great personality. Citizens of the state live in prosperity being protected by his unsurpassable power. Nobody can come. Nobody can loot. If such kings are there. My dear boy, the Lord who carries the wheel of the chariot is represented by monarch and resigned. He is a Naradeva representing the Lord on earth. When his resign is abolished, the whole world becomes filled with thieves who then at once vanquish the unprotected subject like scattered lambs. What if such kings are needed? No, such, such a fool you are. Such powerful, unsurp, nobody could surpass in power, Parishan Maharaj, so powerful. Such kings are there. We can all live peacefully. If the kings are not, they have a role to play. King means to protect. Kshatriya means to protect people from injury, from thieves and rogues. Always people are there who try to disturb the peace. But such kings will protect us. And the thieves' robes will vanquish the unprotected subject like scattered land. They will be looting, robbery, everything. If such kings are not there, we need them. Why did he do this? Due to the termination of monarchical rebands and plundering our people wealth by rogues and things, there will be great social disruption. That's what happens in Kalyuga. People will be killed and injured and animals and women will be stolen. All for the sins, we will be responsible. What have you done? At that time, the people in general will fall systematically throughout the progress of civilization in respect to the qualitative engagements of the caste and orders of society and the Vedic injunction. Thus, they will be more attracted to the economic development or sense gratification. And as a result, they will be unwanted population on the level of dogs and monkeys. Kutte bandar paida honge dunia mein. If there are no proper kings, there is no proper protection, all social orders will go for a sex. Everybody will be only interested in making money. Nobody is interested in spiritual development. And the population they produce is the level of dogs and monkeys. And this is what happened today. Everybody is actually, you see, any family is over anxious about economic development today. There is no time for spiritual development. They are not no, so busy. And the joke is, you work eight hours or 20 hours, the laws of karma doesn't allow you to have one paisa more than what you are destined. You cannot do that. You cannot change that. So people actually, without proper guidance, become over anxious. That is called ugly karma. Over anxious for material benefits. Every person, every family, that is what is going on. See, you are here, he is there. First thing parents tell. You are here and your friend is there. And it, you know, it's comparing goes on. And on what basis? No, nobody talks about, see, he's, he's, that boy is able to control this and says, so well, you should also learn. So immediately inspiration comes. So the, from childhood, the role models are given to children are all economically successful people. Nobody talks about, as a role model, somebody who is spiritually advanced. See, we can learn from Prahlad, so great. No, no. Rather, as the child grows up, they say, don't hear all this because they do not want them to emulate such great saints. Sadhu banna hai kya? They shudder at the thought the son will become saintly. Reverse. Like Hiranyakashipu. Hiranyakashipu, when he heard that his son is chanting Krishna Nama, became angry. Today also people have become like that. And they think spiritual life is something we have to have at the end of life. You know, many times people ask, do you have some stories for children? They think the spiritual life is some, you know, fairy tales to keep mind peaceful. The emperor Parishit, the pious king, is highly celebrated and is a first-class devotee, the personality of God. He is saint among royalty and has performed many heroic horse sacrifices. 
when such a king is tired and fatigued, being stricken with hunger and thirst, he does not at all deserve to be cursed. Are Baba, you why don't you understand his situation? He is such a great king, a saint among the royalty. This slight discrepancy of behavior occurred. He also had a difficult situation. You should think in that way. He was tired and fatigued. And in that little discrimination mistake happened. Why you are by hunger and thirst? He doesn't deserve to be cursed now because he became a little upset in that situation. Then the Rishi prayed to the all pervading personality of Godhead to pardon his immature wife. Bhagwan, my beta ko maaf kar do. Kya kar diya isne? Who has no intelligence has committed the great sin of cursing a person who was completely free from all sins, who was subordinate and deserved to be protected. So, so beautiful. The Brahmanas, instead of cursing and exploiting, have to protect people by wisdom and knowledge. But true Brahmanas are powerful. No Kshatriya will play with the Brahmanas. That's much power they have to curse. We have the example also in Bhagavatam of King Vena. King Vena was son of Anga, a great uh, you know, king. But Anga got so headache. This Vena was a crazy fellow. So crazy fellow. And he tried to train his son because kings not only should rule the world, but also should create a next here who will rule. So he was trying to train his son. He was in a difficult position. Nothing was happening. This boy was so cruel. So he left the kingdom one day night and ran away. He said, let me take care of my spiritual life. That is more important. What I could do, I could do now. Enough. And he said, I'll take care of spiritual life. Lord will take care. And this Vena, so when the father ran away, there was no king in the kingdom. Everybody was searching, where did the king go? So without the king, a thief started plundering innocent people. That always happened. So the, the, the sages sought among them, so we need a king. And anyway, this boy is cruel, but he will be at least a powerful king. The thieves and rogues will panic when they see him. So this okay, let us give him a chance. So they made his son the king, be another king. But the moment he became the king, thieves and rogues went away. But this fellow created disaster. He started making uh, announcement in every town and village. Bheri Goshe na Bharata, boom, boom, boom. Stop all worship. If you want to worship, worship King Vena. There is no God. The sages, hey, ye kya ho gaya? So they went to all of them, assembled together, said, what are you doing? Why you have made such announcement? They said, yes, you such are impious fellows. I am the one feeding you. You should worship me. And you are some God you are talking. Where is that God? So immediately uh, the sages got very hurt. What kind of king is this? He is saying, worship him. I don't worship God. So they cursed him and he died on the spot. So the sages are very powerful. Nobody, nobody will take play with the sages. The devotee of the Lord are so forbearing that even though they are defamed, cheated, cursed, disturbed, neglected, killed, they are never inclined to even themselves. That's not a quality of a devotee. Devotee bearing, so they, they're defamed, cheated, cursed, disturbed, neglected, given. They never take revenge. The same thus regretted the sin committed by his own son. He did not take the insult paid by the king very seriously. Now, the great devotee is just ignored. <laughs> Generally, the task, and even though engaged by others in duality metal world, are not distressed, nor do they take pleasure in worldly things, or they are transcendently engaged. Yes, Hare Krishna, beautiful chapter today. Nice, you're all enjoying hearing Bhagavatam. Yes, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. Yes, because you understood Bhagavad Gita, now you're able yes, to understand Bhagavatam. Yes, Prabhu. Very true. Very sweet. Bhagavatam Some stories very, like very uh, Hiranyaka Shukru and a few things. Huh? Like, like Hiranyaka Shukru story and many stories are like, we are, from childhood you have been hearing here and there. But this is in in detail study. It's really nice to see. Everybody. Not in detail. This is also summary study. Detail is after this. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> detail is after this. Okay. Detail means word by word, shloka by shloka. That's what we okay. do. But I am allowing you to, you know, uh, for flight, I mean, aeroplanes, I have a ground on it. Let's go. Thoda, thoda. Otherwise, you will get a sudden, sudden too heavy. So just giving you a little a bridge, bridge course on Bhagavata. Yes. Any questions today? Parikshit Maharaj, so many things we learned. What do you learn today? Go reverse. What do you learn in the past time today? Self control. Prabhuji. Self control. That nature might seep into a person's behavior. Like 
you all also self censor like yeah, that is that was a very good point uh, like uh, you know a brahmin girl marries a kriya and what could happen and all no? that was a very good point actually how nature <laughs> might interfere in their you know really could be it's a good uh, point actually very no, not point. the vedic system was a brahmana boy can marry a kshatriya wife because anyway the boy will be, by nature men are dominating but the she will not be minding the kshatriya woman and she will also grow to brahminical culture but the reverse is there there will be problem yeah there is no but anyway hari krishna any questions i am seeing so many hari krishna prabhu yes yes prabhu one thing you also said is the class isn't it ha so what are the lessons you learned so unnatural anger destroys anger anger control unnatural See? anger destroys that was bad for the shringi he destroyed everything he destroyed the whole vedic culture hai na because he removed impo- important king from the scene true prabhupa says nothing to bother it had to happen kale na sarvatra gabhir ramasa what has to happen finally happen kaliyuga had to start and for kaliyuga to start parikshit maharaj had to be out of the scene that's okay <laughs> you know some analysis goes on that he had given one more place to kali purusha what was that the gold and he is waiting the gold uh, kirita at that time so kali purusha at that time created that get about some analysis some analysis says no 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 actually krishna's arrangement it was because uh, krishna wanted bhagavatam to come out so krishna did that thing what was so by this we have to understand that what the name of the tree no he had given five places to kali purusha five so first places where intoxication is going on where gambling where relation outside marriage is going on and where meat eating is going on fifth place is there where wealth is there so then what do we do we should not have wealth live like a pauper no keep the wealth engage in good work you understand Suppose in family also money is kept in bank, then fighting will start for the money. When our Acharya Shila Prabhupada, when he was leaving the world, some people came to advise him as well wishers. Swami ji, don't keep money. All your disciples will fight for money. So he said, no, no money in this movement because in movement is con. What our money is there gets converted to books, and books when you have, you know, in con is printing. I think we don't know. In con, a distributor half billion books by now. Half billion books. That means how many half billion people already got the books of Shila Prabhupada written books? It's going to translate books to every language. So always Prabhupada, the money come printed the books and distributed books. When you're distributing books, then you have to preach. When you're preaching, you will spiritually advance. That's the idea. So money stocked in a place will create fight. That's a yes. Any other question? What is the name of the Rishi Hare? Hare Krishna. What is the name of the Rishi? Which Rishi? Who? Sami. Uh, father. Father. Sami ke Rishi. Sami ka. Sami ka. Sami ka Rishi. Sami ka. And his son was Shri. Hare Shing. Krishna. Prabhu. Yes. Uh, Hare Krishna. Please Prabhu. explain this. Shushupti Swapna Jagrati Prabhu ji. Ha? Huh? Shushupti Swapna Jagrati. See, one stage is Shushupti. We are deep sleep where the Atma is there in the heart. But it's not connected to the mind or to the body. Deep sleep. You don't have dreams also. Okay? Right? And actually, you need that kind of sleep for the mind to get rest. Suppose you overeat. Those who overeat, they overdream. Okay. When you overdream, you don't get satisfaction by ten hours of rest also, because all the time you are dreaming. You didn't get rest. Mind needs rest for some time. So when you take bodily rest, the mind, the soul plays. The mind, soul doesn't need rest. Soul is fresh always. It doesn't need food also. So soul starts playing with the mind. Therefore, you get dreams. And then soul is connected only to mind. Your dream, when the soul is connected to the mind and body, then it's jagriti. You wake up. Okay. And then there is a spiritual stage where the soul is actually connected to the Lord and is feeling spiritual happiness and connect. That is called turiya. So we got four stages. That is only cessation. That is what the samika rishi was. He was a curious person, and he judged oh. it. In judgment, he made a mistake. Okay. Thank you, Prabhu Ji. Uh, Hare Krishna, Prabhu Ji. Yes, Hare uh, Krishna. Uh, you, you were telling about that Bhagavatam started uh, with the story of uh, Parikshit. Yeah? 
Yes. Okay. Yes. For knowledge. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he is a hearer of Bhagavad Gita, so his whole his whole scene is being built. See, interestingly, Bhagavad Gita there is one chapter to build the scene, and Bhagavatam there are nineteen chapter to build the scene. Yeah. Mm, it's oh. much advanced scripture. The foundation is being laid, and now. The first two chapters of Bhagavatam are come considered to lotus feet of the Lord. Mm. So I, we can all start reading Bhagavatam also. Uh, Prabhupada, the first book Prabhupada wrote in India was Bhagavatam. He was there in India. Actually, wrote commentary of Bhagavad Gita, and that commentary his wife sold for Radhi. Then he left his house, got fed up, and came to Vrindavan, and then he started commentary on Bhagavatam. And he wrote Bhagavatam in three volumes, first canto. Uh, he knew that because Bhagavatam itself says that this this book will create revolution in the heart of the conditioned souls. That is prediction in Bhagavatam. So it took this book, first canto itself, and he launched the movement by that. And when he went to America, he distributed this book, and people are reading that book, and that's how the movement started. So you also not only hearing, just go online. Can I be the base? Open, start reading Bhagavatam, word by word, from beginning. Beautiful little Bhagavatam. Pipa the Bhagavatam the Samalayam. Start drinking the Rasa Bhagavatam Rasa. Aho, muhu, rasika bhuvi bhava kaha. Those are expert in drinking Rasa. Drink the Bhagavatam Rasa. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Yes. Singhi he sir, Parishit Maharaj ne Prabhu being in the. Uh, Karishita, how did he get the power? It came through on Karishita Maharaj. How can Shingi so much power to curse? No, you that's the yes. question. No, that was see that they were so well trained. The samskara, the house will be pure. No, see, I tell you one thing. When you are following rules and regulations strictly, you get you get powers. You follow very strictly. See, anybody follows rules, regulations strictly, he gets punya, he gets power. So they were because in good samskaras, good training at home, because of the father, he had a lot of punya. Moment you have punya, you have power. Just like Gandhari, you know, she also did so much tapasya, she had the punya. She blessed Duryodhana that your body becomes like iron. You remember before the war, final day before the war with Bhima? She didn't want, want no mother wants son to die. She was protecting Duryodhana. She gave the blessing. And Krishna interfered and made him ears of Langot so that there was an the area for Bhima to kill him now. Correct? You all know this or not? So it's Gandhari. Anybody that tapasya gets has the power to bless. See, you have Purnia, you can distribute. You don't have, you can't give anything. So to, to, to give Purnia or to curse comes from tapasya. So one quick question, uh, Prabhuji. So when the Maharishi asked for the pardon for the what the child did, Sringi did, so what happened? Did uh, did that was forgiven? It was reduced the curse? No, 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 no. See, the point is that both the Samika Rishi and Parishi Maharaj are on a very advanced platform. If you are a normal person, death penalty would have disturbed. Correct? They know nothing. They know that is not a big deal. That's why they are not scared of death. Nothing to be scared of death. Just like big examination, you know he will pass the examination. Chalo bhai, final exam kal a gaya. So for a noble lawyer, take care. Kal de denge, left hand he will write the exam. So similarly, it's very easy for him. You know, so he will pass the exam, not a big deal. But other ways, because there are preparation ka time. Do. Ek hafta hai abhi exam ka, prepare kar lo. Okay. And, Parish, and, and not only that, the Parish Maharaj was meditating that I did a mistake. My Lord, please punish me so severely that I don't do such a mistake again. He was meditating in that attitude. So when he received the message, because Samika Rishi sent a messenger, some one of uh, his uh, some boy to go and inform the king, "Hey, you got a curse to die within seven days." Parish Maharaj did not repent at all. He said, "Welcome, thank you very much." And he was rather thinking, "This is an arrangement of the Lord. Uh, let me now take." He didn't repel. He could have repelled the curse. He could have countered the curse. He could have counter cursed. So he was also tapasvi. He also had punya power. He could have counter. He could have, he could have killed. He was a kshatriya. He could have sent his soldiers to kill that small boy. Uh, he will not break etiquettes. Etiquettes of a kshatriya is 
not to lift weapons against the brahmana correct he remained within his etiquette and when you do that krishna then helps you correct then immediately what happens immediately who came shukamuni came to guide him i say it's ah look at it if he would have also started shouting howling counter cursing then shukamuni was not been sent by the lord to uh, protect just like we saw pralad maharaj he was always within his culture even though there was difficulties krishna protected him he stayed within his etiquettes so very important in the world when we stay we stay within our boundary so he stayed within his boundary and krishna personally protected him and then you get compassion then you get mercy okay any other question nice no for such great kings so many things you learn very from nice. studying the instances very nice yeah. it makes very it thank interesting you. thank you prabhu and we learn so many things so gradually we learn so many things yes prabhu thank you prabhu ji thank you prabhu ji bhagavatam was written by prabhu ji yes, see bhagavatam yeah. originally it is penned on by veda vyasa and veda vyasa he is a bhashya bhag brahma sutra veda vyasa himself it is the explanation of the vedanta sutra then after that bhagavatam was heard first time by shukamuni he taught to his son shuka i told you when he was running away from home he taught the son shuka yes. for bhagavatam in the when he was in the womb shukamuni proposed a synopsis he had given but detail he gave him after he came out then after hearing bhagavatam shukamuni became a, actually shukamuni is a nitya siddha is just a past time he is the associate of radharani radha krishna leela he is there and then after that uh shukamuni started preach he spoke bhagavatam first time to parikshit maharaj uh, a parishmada heard it. in that assembly were the person sitting sutu goswami he went and spoke bhagavatam in amisharanya so bhagavatam goes back and forth between different situations between parikshit maharaj speaking and sutu goswami speaking it keeps going on back and forth thank you prabhu Hare Krishna. So please, Hare everybody. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Everybody, Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare हाँ जी थैंक सो नाइट नाइन ओ क्लॉक वी हैव एवरी संडे कृष्णा बुक वी रीड वन टू लीला जो कृष्णा लीला वेलकम यू आर ऑल वेलकम हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्ण हाँ टेक्स टाइम हरे कृष्ण प्रभु